I'm Ed Marsh, and today I want to talk about sales training. When I was in the Army in the late 80s and early 90s, it was understood that over the course of a 20-year career, a, a person in the military would spend approximately 30% of their career time in some school or training. Every two to four years, there'd be another significant training program, often lasting four to 12 months each and involving a move to a, to a different station. Some of it certainly was leadership and management training, but much of it was about specific domain skills for a person's job at each level as they progressed. When I left the Army and went into business with a specific goal of learning sales, many of my managers and leaders were products of early IBM and Xerox type training programs, which often involved one to two years of intense training on how to sell before anybody even went into the field. It was understood and it was expected that salespeople would be trained consistently in their craft. When they started in their career, they needed training. And then obviously consistently on an ongoing basis as tactics and methodologies evolved, as buyers changed their behaviors and expectations, and as individuals advanced into more advanced roles. It was also self-evident that sales managers needed additional training, coaching, and mentorship to transition from selling accounts themselves to guiding a team of reps and doing the same. And likewise, a sales VP would need more training as they advanced from sales manager to a sales leadership role, now managing several of their former peers. But to say that today there's a different attitude is to make a colossal understatement. While the pressure cooker environment of SaaS and technology sales does seem to cultivate a culture of more explicit sales learning in many cases, in the industrial space, I see precious little. I interview many reps on behalf of clients, and almost none of those under 40 can list for me any specific sales training they've had. When I help clients run a sales team evaluation, I consistently find that sales manager coaching is only as needed or at most um, no more frequently than once a week, and it focuses disproportionately on pricing, quoting, technical questions, and completely misses sales strategy, sales tactics, account management, territory management, um, all, all sorts of aspects of coaching that are important, not to mention role playing. So let's make it simple. Your company will never truly thrive and never reach its revenue potential if you don't have a consistent sales sales management, and sales leadership training program. You need to proactively select a sales methodology. You need to get training, including training for sales managers on how to do that job. It's a critical one. Make role-playing part of your culture and insist that your team read at least one sales book per quarter as a group.